Speaking of websites, ourfoundrymusic.com does quite well, Anthony. You know, what defensive does. Steve gets, he comes right in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my site. The problem what? with Farkids. What about my <laughs> site? I didn't. Whoa. Oh, shit. What did I just do? What All are right. you doing? Ripping the mic up. Take yeah. it easy. Sorry. When did I start doing yeah. that? Huh? I'm going to a pipe. Take it easy. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoops. Um, Steve, it's yeah. Whip Em Out Wednesday. That's right. We love Whip Em Out Wednesday. You, you get a wow on your uh, car, and the girls, if they feel like it, they'll flash their boobs. It's been happening for seven, eight years now. That's we right. We got the wow bumper stickers. You can get one by sending a self addressed stamped envelope to us here in New York. Uh, the address to send the self-addressed uh, stamp, stamped envelope is on our website, openanthony.com. But we're taking it to the next level, aren't we, Steve? That's right. We had uh, a section on the website for the last couple of years called Wow Me. And yes. the problem is it just the website got so, so big over the last couple of years that those pictures kind of got buried. And what they were was just anonymous shots usually sent in by ladies with uh, wow uh, uh, usually across their chest and their naked chest, sometimes with the faces, sometimes without. And we would put them up and share them with everybody. And I think, and Jeff and I were under the impression that I think these were getting lost, so we created a brand new website called RateMyWow.com. Rate My Wow. That's right. Hmm. I mean, basically, it's just a collection of boob shots, but we thought that was a little boring, so we had to think of one little extra thing to... A little uh, catch, sure. Yeah, a little catch. So we took all those Wow Me shots, slapped them up on this RateMyWow.com, and now you can look at them, and it's just boobs. People can submit uh, as many as they want, and uh, you can vote on them, and the highest rated ones appear, and, you know, that's it. It's just... Very and you could get to uh, RateMyWow.com through Foundry Music. OpianAnthony.com. Yeah. Everything's linked, right? Everything's linked up. Steve's smart that way. Everything's linked up That's here and there. That's right. So uh, that went online this morning? Went online this morning. Not all the pictures are up. I think there's about 400 that we have to go through. Wow. And, uh, yeah, that we just haven't gotten through. Nice. I think we got through maybe 100 of them last night. So in the coming weeks, it's going to become huge. Yeah. And I mean, then we, you sit there at home and you just check out all these girls, you know, their boobs, and you rate uh, you rate yeah. their boobs. I mean, you know, and, and I think it was a good move because within like five minutes of it going live, we got three new pictures. So are there any like any girls with like big nips there or like big areolas? Yes, tons. <laughs> I love big areolas, man. I love that. Try to you like it to look like a moose's nose. Oh, <laughs> God, they're just. Dude, all you remember the remember the Voyeur bus incident? The girl. Uh, oh, we know who you loved on that one. Yeah, oh, that was tor- oh my god. That was horrific. Her. Dude, that she's was one horrific. of the sexiest girls ever. She, absolutely not. It's she all in the eye of the beholder, dude, bro. Absolutely that, all in the that, eye of the beholder. That horrified me. Everyone else was like, oh, Ugh. she could possibly have the worst tits ever. I loved them. I thought they were tumors. No, I don't know what, you know what it was? was going on. No, it was they a were. They broken their honey jars. A big tumor. A big long tube is what they were. They were like bananas with the nip. It wasn't really a nip. It was just a brown s- spot on the end of her. Like a yarmulke. A, right. a brown breast yarmulke. Yeah. yeah. And I just wanted to suckle them and make baby noises. You know what it looked like? Remember Carvel used to have chocolate bonnets? It was a vanilla, <laughs> vanilla cone, and they would dip it in chocolate. And that's what her tit looked like. That was this brown too. nipple with these pointy things. I'm more into the slow fade myself. I like them too. But I mean, well, yeah, yeah, it looks like, when it looks like you dipped your boobs in, a, in chocolate in syrup. Chocolate syrup, a chocolate bonnet, and they had cherry bonnets too. It's cherry syrup. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's... I loved Carvel. But I also like little A or B cup breasts with those big, those big thick fat nipples. I love those too. <sighs> What a freak show. It's not. I love that. It's hot. Normal nips. I, I like them, too. But I mean, like, A or B cups with those little, like, the nipples that almost get thicker as they go away from the body. You ever see those? Those are, they're like buttons. Oh. oh big, th- thick, rubbery. They're all puffy. Oh, you mean the diameter yeah, gets, closest it, to the boob is, is thinner? Not than much, but a little bit. End. And then yeah. it gets puffy. Yeah, big, fat. Ooh. As it works its way uh, thick outwards. Thick nips. Right. All right, well, so rate my... a nipple a frog could sit on. RateMyWow.com, a brand new website from Steve. Old toadstool tip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right, yeah. All right, very good. You guys get more hits than Fark or no? No, no, they blow us away. Yeah. Fark's huge. I'm asking him, Steve, Steve does good traffic. No, I mean, it, it does. Yeah, it does decent, but Fark just blows us out of the water. Well, Fark has Photoshop stuff. Fark's on a That's daily right, basis Jim. gets a lot of hits, you know. We have, we have our moments where we really get... 
get sure. up there. Yeah. I mean, and, and it's easy to remember uh, fart.com, foundrymusic.com. Half the people don't even know how to spell foundry. Dude, I, you know what? probably the easiest site ever to navigate. Look, there's a story. Click. I'm there. Hey, you are, boom. But I will tell you this. Fark people don't stay that. People stay on Fark for, not, that, not, not to slag them, but if you look at the average use of a website, generally it's three to five minutes. People are on Foundry for up, upwards of 20 minutes. People are trying to figure out how to use ratings it. for websites. I'm He's telling you. spinning it. Yeah. I'm, yeah, he's right. spinning. I'm he's spinning, spinning the rating. Well, they say there are two and a half computers for every single hit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really, Steve Lowe? <laughs> they're, they're, they're there for 20 minutes because they're trapped inside the thing and they're trying to find their way back out. So so scientific. Out. Click to download, but not here. What the fuck does this mean? <laughs> Smart ass. Oh, God. That's why. <sighs> All right. right. Uh, Mike, what's going on? Uh, you, hey, just this morning, about 10 minutes ago, I'm driving on the 5 freeway through L.A., mm -hmm. and a uh, red big rig truck with uh, kind of an older lady driving it just saw the wow sticker on the back of my car, or my, you know, yeah, my car, and she whipped her tits out, and these had to be the ugliest tits I've ever seen in my life. Kind of like dog ears. Looks like she spilled coffee on a white shirt. <laughs> That's hey, Jimmy, bad. when are you coming to L.A.? Uh, it'll be a little while, but I, I, I go out to L.A. a little more often. I'm actually starting to like it out there, and I never thought I would, but I'm actually enjoying my last few trips. Yeah, L.A.'s so. fun. Yeah, I have to admit, I'm really starting to like L.A. We'll, we'll be back sooner than later, but uh, that, that's funny. But you know what, Mike, it kind of put a smile on your face, didn't it? Oh, yeah, for sure. You, that, you know, you've got to be listening right now. It was like a red, I don't know, Peterbilt, Kenworth, whatever. I was driving like a, a cream-colored Escalade. She's got to hear right now. Sorry about your tits, but, you know, you, you know, driving through, maybe you can stop by and get some surgery or something. And, hey, Jimmy, maybe you can call Voss. He can put in a good word for you and get you out here earlier. Well, Voss was out there doing the Oscars, so, yeah, yeah. maybe Voss could help me out, hook me Very up a little bit. important man in the industry. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Thank you, guys. There you go. I'm nice to hear there's wows going on in L.A., though. I, I like that. No, I, yeah, I, as soon as you can. Yeah, it's, it's uh, slowly but surely growing all across uh, the country now. <coughs> you all right there, Rope? Not really. Somebody pat Oates back, please. No, it's all right. It's all right. All right, we got Laszlo. He's going to come in and say hi to us. And, yeah. And, and we got other things. What You brought a lot of audio in today. Any of this stuff worth playing, Steve? What I brought in. Hold on a second. The story about the uh, story about the chick that got um, that got killed in Lower East Side is pretty. You know, actually, it's kind of infuriating when you hear the story. It is really infuriating. Yeah, you Goddamn lawyers. We should play this here. Yeah, it's the. Uh, you heard the story. I think it made it national. Oh yeah. It's one of those stories uh, that really get you pissed off. Actress girl Nicole. and her fiance. They were uh, hanging out with friends, and. Uh, they leave a bar about 3 in the morning or so, walk outside, and a, a group of thugs, group of savage animals, come out of nowhere and uh, attempt to rob them. The uh, actress girl there, what was her name? Nicole. Uh, Nicole. Nicole. To friend, right? Yeah. Yeah. She uh, does something really stupid. <laughs> it's not her fault, obviously, that she's dead, but, you know, she did something stupid. She, She's mouthing off to the guy uh, that had the gun. The guy shot her. You know, shot, shoots her right in the chest, leaves her there to die. And now they're all scrambling, ratting each other out, trying to make deals. And uh, they're actually saying that uh, the, the uh, Nicole had pushed the guy with the gun, and he slipped in the snow, and the gun went off. <clears throat> what what bullshit that is. And, and I hope that it's not a jury of uh, equal savages that would uh, uh, buy this story and let them go. I would like to know. I look. I understand. There's been an awful history, a lot of times of black, a uh, white on black crime, and certain crimes are hate crimes. I just want to know when is the last time a black on white crime was called a hate crime? When? I've. Ne I'm sure it's happened. Never. I've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. I never. would love to know when has that ever happened. I'm sure someone has an example. Uh, I'd like to know when. Obviously, you know, Mumia is not considered a hate crime because that's an older one. This one won't be. Uh, Reginald Denny wasn't called a hate crime. Uh, wh when is it considered a hate crime? If it's not white cops beating a black guy, then it's a hate crime. There's just a disproportionate amount of violence in the black community. That mu unless it's taken care of uh, and even addressed by, by uh, a black leadership, there's just going to be pr underlying prejudice. Interesting that Jimmy should say that because when you listen to this clip, you know the reasoning that one of the uh, one of the uh, suspects gives for why she got into a fight with Nicole 
is exactly that. Is she right. hated the fact that uh, that she was having such a good time. Well, let's listen to this. Well, it's not really a hate crime. I mean, it's like racially. I'm but saying a racially still, based yeah. hate crime. Let's listen to this. Indictments tonight against four teenagers in connection with the murder of the young New York actress Nicole Dufresne. And now one of the teens says she started the confrontation that led to Miss Dufresne's shooting because the actress and her friends were quoting now looked happy. I would assume support Jim Dolan on the Lower East Side for us tonight with the story. I deserve some happiness. Looked happy. Why ain't I happy? Ugh. Same as that pig in the pizza place. Kill them. Yep. Just kill yep. them. His fat hog bitch girlfriend is getting in a brawl, and he has to go over there and, and belt some guy in the, in the face. Uh, it, it's ridiculous. Same as this. It is the same as this. Just ridiculous. Any girl Kill that them. just just she should be hung upside down by her ankles and have her throat cut like a lamb. There you go, Jim. Even before all this, Bill, the uh, murder of Nicole Dufresne seemed like a cold-blooded affair, but we never knew how infantile its origin nor how casually a young life was taken that night. But tonight, we get a first-hand account from two of those who admit being there the night it happened. No respect One for of life. whom admits starting it all because Nicole and her boyfriend seemed so happy. Yeah. Look at those happy Add to people. the mountain of evidence that includes surveillance tape of the suspects, a shocking, bizarre statement from one of those accused in the murder of 28-year-old actress Nicole Dufresne gunned down last month during what seemed like a robbery attempt at the time but looks now far more strange one of the suspects 18 year old ashley evans says her friends were making fun of her that night because she never got into fights to silence them she says she vowed to punch the next person they saw on the street we then seen evans says in her statement nicole and her fiance and the other couple they were extremely happy she says so that made me even angrier. Why it made her angry, she does not explain in the statement, but she goes on to describe how Ms. Dufresne resisted the robbery even after they had her purse. Nicole then bumped into me in a fierce rage to assault Rudy, Rudy being 19-year-old alleged gunman Rudy Fleming. She pushed him twice, shouting, you got what you wanted, she says in the statement. He pushed her off as if to warn her, she came at him again, Evan says, pushing him, causing his foot to get caught in the snow. And that, she says, is when the gun went off. Right, right, right. Oh, well, okay, let him go. Let him go. I'm sure he'll be a productive member of society after you let him go. Well, obviously, it's her fault. She's pushing this guy, this poor kid, this poor underprivileged kid. Oh, they just wanted a little happiness. And then, and then they see the happy. It's their upbringing. That why aren't they happy? They deserve to be happy. So when they saw the happiness on their face, uh, all that from a culture of... The, shut up. More babble from these fucking lawyers. And you even hear the media. This is why I despise the media. You hear the way this, this asshole reporter said, and this is where it gets more strange. Really? Is that the way you phrased it when Justin Volpe raped Abner Louima? And, and he should be doing 30 years. He's an yeah. animal. Louima's an yep. innocent guy who was brutally assaulted, and this fucking guy should be doing 30 years. Right. But why is it never from the opposite side looked at like that? It's not. That was, This is when it got more strange, when he ripped down the Wima's pants. No, it was called the brutal racial assault that it was. So why is this not viewed the same way by the media? That's why I, people always email me, stop attacking, attacking liberals. That's why I attack liberals, dude. It's this kind of mentality, mm -hmm. this kind of softening of what actually happened. Yep. The account is contradicted, though, somewhat by another defendant, David Simmon, who says only that Nicole walked back toward Rudy and pushed him, and Rudy shot her. Back at the house, the statement goes on, we all told Rudy he shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, good. He shouldn't have done that because, uh, so far, six people have been charged in connection with Dufresne's murder. Live on the Lower East Side, Jim Dolan, Channel 7, I want to see you. You know, I'm tired of black people with the guns, okay? I'm really tired of it. God. You know, the shootings out at Hot 97. Do you read that whole thing? With the rap war that's going on? It's music, you friggin' idiots. And they're going to... I guarantee 50 Cent is going to end up dead. Yeah, He will be shot. Or the other guy. Or the other guy. Yeah, this is just gearing up. There's this whole thing in that culture that that says, you know, if you're disrespected 
or in order to get respect, not even if you're disrespected, just in order to get respect, you have to be a, a fucking animal. You have to kill people. You have to uh, uh, knock down people that are happier than you. What? Where is that coming from? 300 years ago? Is that where it still comes from? I'm, I'm sorry. The excuse is running a little thin. There's plenty of opportunity out there for everybody. There's no need uh, to be running around shooting people like this. It's, it's, it's just... It makes you racist. It turns people into racist. People that would normally go, yes, I am going to judge that person based on the content of their character and not the color of their skin. And then you judge them on the content of the character, and the character stinks. See, the problem is, I don't even care guys like 50 Cent or other rappers. I mean, these guys are thugs. That's what they right. do. They used to sell crack. They used to be street thugs themselves. They, they, I mean, they're really the tough dudes. Just how they deal with things, whatever. That's their problem. Right. My problem is like MTV and these other places have no problem, even after all the shooting, still showing the video. Fine. But then, God forbid, you make an anti-gay remark or you make some politically incorrect joke or some type mm -hmm. of a remark. They will. And, and again, dice. Booted off MTV for life for using a little dirty language. Meanwhile, in thug culture where guys are shooting at each other, because they're popular, they're still welcomed on MTV yeah. to do interviews and all this stuff. It's just, it's just that, 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 that hypocritical, sickening, one-way street mentality. Yeah. Uh, let's say hi to Derek in Texas. Derek, what's up? What's going on, man? Hey. I, I just wanted to make a couple of points. Number one, you're right. Black people need to get off that bullshit about 300 years ago. This shit's over with. You know what I'm saying? Move on. And I'm 24 years old. Bust mm -hmm. my ass, work hard, make a good living, live a good life. I don't need to sell drugs and shit. And it's probably some black motherfucker out there listening right now. Probably think I'm some sellout, but I'm I'm, I'm just as hard as that motherfucker. A sellout. Is. Yeah, how, how black people are sellouts if they actually uh, contribute to society and work and raise a family. Then you're a sellout. You got yeah, no street just, cred. We're just speaking the truth. I hear no, you. I can survive on the same streets that motherfuckers can. But oh, I just wanted to make that point, man, and I'm glad y'all let me get on the radio. All right, okay, thanks, thanks, Derek. Man. All right, y'all take it easy. All right. Yeah, hardworking black people, you just, I, I, you know, I feel for you. I really do. It's got to just be a bitch. Some guy trying to raise his family, working for a living, and you just pop on the news. And I don't even want to hear that, oh, it's the news' fault because they broadcast this stuff. Like they're searching out stories. Oh, we got a story of a white guy doing this or, or an Asian guy or this guy. But let's put the black people. Let's just focus on, I'm sorry. I do more than just watch the news. I, I read a lot. I read a lot about the statistics across this country. And it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, the amount of violence going on in the black community. It, and, and no one wants to address it head on. they got to skirt the issue by piling up excuse after excuse in front of it. Instead of just facing it and going, what the fuck are you people doing? Jesus Christ. You know who faces it head on and I like is Farrakhan. I yeah, like Farrakhan. There you go. Farrakhan, uh, there's a lot of things he says I don't agree with. He, I think he's way too radical, but you know what? He does, he's all, he's, he's a conservative. I hate to, like, you know, shock people. He talks about the, you know, family and all this crap. He's, you know, he's completely critical of the violence in the black community. I know he blames, yeah. I think he blames too much of it on, on white society, but, you know, hey, I like the guy. And, and it's not just, you know, black on white crime. No. You know. It's black on black crime is amazing. I am amazed by the amount of it. You pick up the the New York papers or re, every read every day, news, and, every day in Brooklyn. There's another black guy laying in the street with a bullet in his head, and there's a black guy that killed him. And that, there's just this violence going on that I, I'm sorry. I and like I said, I read a lot about this. I cannot figure out where it's coming from. Where does it come from? 300 years ago? Is it is it really coming from that? Is it honestly coming from that? Is there so much racism in place now that, that any black person cannot really get ahead? They can't, they're incapable of getting an education because they're blocked by racism. They're incapable of getting jobs because they're blocked by racism. Or is it the fact, and this is a fact, that if you're a, a black uh, uh, person and, and you've gone to school, you've gone to college, and you go out into the job market, that it is a given you are going to be given a good job? It absolutely is, because it's a rare commodity. I don't know, man. I got, I, on this one, i got to kind of play devil's advocate a little bit. 
here's, I think there's like a fine line, because black people do, like a lot of times, talk about institutionalized racism. And I know the word racism is thrown around way too much, uh -huh. but I don't think that it's like complete lunacy, that there is definitely very subtle things where they're passed over. It's like, it's like I think poverty does have something to do with people's behavior. It's not like black people are just genetically, you know what I mean? There's some kind of a poverty thing, too. That I'm not making excuses for people, because I think that they should be executed for killing this girl. But there is something to be said for the fact that you don't see a lot of middle class or people making X amount of money doing it. It's mostly people that make but shit. But there, there, there have been classes of people that have been impoverished over the years that pull themselves out of it yep. as a culture. There are people that come here with nothing and pull themselves out of it. There is something going on that is preventing black people from really uh, just a, as a whole getting together as a group even. And, and really uh, uh, talking to each other about being successful in this country. It's more about, you know, the, the hip-hop community and, 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 you know, slinging fucking crack and, and, and all that gets more attention. And, and more importance is put on that. More importance is put a kid on the street, not about, about going to school and getting an education so you can get a better job. It's about, hey, I'll shoot that motherfucker if he disrespects me. You bump into somebody and give him an eyeball the wrong way, and you're getting shot. Where is that coming from? I, I will say, I agree with you, there's, that slavery is not an excuse. How, one thing I'll say again, devil's advocate, uh, you know... Had things gone differently after slavery, I really think that th this problem would have been something we just talked about that was over 100 mm -hmm. years ago. But, I mean, it really is like the last 30 years or 35 years that the scales have started to tip the other way. I mean, there, there, there's a whole generation of people who are still alive that can remember legally being kicked off a bus. I mean, it, it does do something, I think, to, uh, to people's psyche uh, when you've been shit on for so long. And, again, that's not the excuse, but I think you have to kind of weigh all options. That does contribute on some level, I think, that... Mm -hmm. it, Psychologically, it's almost like women who who grow up in an abusive household. They, they they're not dumb. They just they go into an abusive relationship. Well, maybe it's the same thing for a group that's constantly shit on and told uh -huh. you're not protected equally under the law. I mean, so I how know. long you think? I honestly don't know. I mean, a, a generation or two generations removed. I, mm. I think there's got to be a certain amount of generations removed. I just just you know. And again, had this been done a long time ago, I don't think we'd even be discussing this anymore. All right, let's go to the phones. A couple phone calls, and then we'll uh, move on. Big Wash, what's up? Hey, fellas, how you doing? Pretty I'm good. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, you know, I got to agree with you. I'm half black myself, and uh, I just don't understand it. I think that something comes from stupidity. You know, uh, uh, you don't see white people acting like that. You know, uh, no, you disrespect you, but you me. Do, I'm you do. Shoot you, blah, but, blah, 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 blah. I mean, look at it like this. Why do black people get their own college? You can only get in this college if you're black. If white people had an all-white college, then it's racist. You know, it, this is ridiculous. It's out of hand. You know, it, it's only blamed. It, it's blamed on stupidity. That's that's where I come from. I'm so ashamed of being half black that you know, if you look at me, you'd swear I'm white. So you know, uh, that's that's what I go by. I mean, it's it, it, it's sickening. Um, I'm gonna punch out and listen to you guys. You guys are doing great. Love to listen to you. Uh, keep up the good work. All right, thanks, Big Wash. I, I got to say, I, I agree with the whole double standard thing about white colleges and black. You, you could say it's okay to say black but not white. But again, when you look at the history of white people and just around the world, look, we've been as violent. I mean, we, I'm not German. But look at Germany. Or look at the, the Russians. Oh, I, I mean, they're, yeah. they're as white Absolutely. as you can get, and they have, they've been barbarians. Yeah. I mean, just, you know, genocide. So it, it's not to say that white people don't have a disgraceful, awful history. Of course. Uh, you know, or that black people are only prone to violence, but... You know, I'm not addressing the, the entire world here. No, no, no I'm just, just, I'm just going to... People look at it like it's a racial thing. Like, there are white supremacists who go, well, if you're black, you're more predisposed. It's like, you know, come on. You look at the history everywhere. Everyone's been pretty much a... It's you know, just a disgusting creep. when you pick up the paper on a daily basis and you just see the body count that's uh, uh, rang up. It's it's ridiculous. All right, one more. Let's say hi to Jimmy. What's up, yeah, Jimmy? what's up, guys? Hey. I'm, I'm, you know what these videos that they make glorifies and deifies violence and makes these young kids think, well, i got to get mine. Yeah, but if you're going to get something, get a fucking education, because right? nobody can take that away from you. I don't mind the videos. I love them. Yeah. I think they're, it's more you know, a reflection of what's going on than causing it. Sure. Yeah, but, but, it, but it glorifies it to an extent to make these kids want to take on these personas. It's, a fucking, it's, it's an act. It's fucking entertainment. Well, they should yeah. be educated that this isn't the way of life. This is entertainment. You watch but, it not to be a role model. You watch it to be entertained, you know? But some people don't know how to draw that line. Okay? Well, that's the... 
that's not the problem of, of what's being shown or listened to. Right. You know, I'd be quite the hypocrite if I said, yeah, they ought to take away those hip hop videos because no, they're causing. No, no, no. But what it, I'm it's, saying is, you know what it is? It's really parents that raise, but it's it's parents that have to raise their kids to watch these things and let them understand that it's entertainment and not a way of life. Just like listening to this show is entertainment, and you know, you shouldn't. Do some of the stuff we discuss, and, stay, and people that play violent video games shouldn't run out and start shooting people. It's you know, it's, it's education and, and it's parenting, and those things. And I believe we can have a greater country if we all work together. We can stop the violence. Blacks, whites, Asians, Spanish. We can all live together in this great land of ours. And that is why today I am announcing that I am running for President of the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you. And I... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's very important. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We as a... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time for a sing along, Anthony. Uh -oh. There was work to be done, and it seemed that someone left it to the colored man. Yes. Someone had a laugh at trouble. Jesus. Wow. That's some number. Who is singing that? Believe it or not, Kate Smith. Is that God Bless America, that, Kate Smith? That's the God Bless America lady. Wow. Yeah, I think the climate has gotten a little better in this country. I really think about it. Yeah. What is the title of that song? That's why darkies were born. The old days, huh? We've come a long way, man. Yeah. But it's not that far removed from where we are. You know, like, time-wise, it's not like that far removed. That's were born. That song wow. was uh, probably played on the radio back in the day. Probably yeah. was. It was. And that was Kate Smith with, <laughs> right. that's why darkies were born. <laughs> Smoke Lucky. Smoke Lucky Strike. And listen to Kate Smith's rendition of That's Why Darkies Were Born. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> brutal. Yeah, definitely. All right, we got to take a break. We're running real late here.